Hey, welcome back to Music Class, kids. We're going to start talking about the instrument families. Most instruments are divided into families based on how they look, how they work, how they're made, and things like that. Kind of like you have a family and you have similarities with people in your family. Maybe you look or act like your mom or dad, brother or sister. Well, instruments are the same way. And the four basic instrument families are brass, woodwind, string, and percussion. Brass instruments and woodwind instruments, you have both have to blow into those, so you're going to use your air to make a sound. Strings have strings that vibrate, and you can strum them like a guitar, or you can use a bow and pull across, like on a violin. And percussion, those are instruments that you can hit with sticks or your hands, you can shake them, you can scrape them, or you can bang them together. That's percussion. So let's start with instrument basics. How do instruments work? Well, all instruments produce a vibration somehow. And that vibration is going to resonate. Usually an instrument's hollow on the inside. And those vibrations, they bounce around inside and it makes it louder. That's what resonating is. And then a lot of instruments have a way to change the pitch. Maybe they have keys or valves as we'll see today. And that's how you can make it higher or lower. So you can play melodies, okay? So that's the instrument basics. Now, today, we're gonna to focus on the brass family. There's many different brass instruments, but four basic ones are the trumpet, the French horn, trombone, and tuba. The trumpet's the smallest, the French horn's a little bigger, the trombone's bigger than that, and the biggest one's the tuba. So it's gonna be the lowest. Usually when instruments are smaller, they're higher pitched. And when instruments get bigger, they get lower pitched, okay? So let's talk about the parts of a brass instrument. All of them have, all of them are made of brass. That's a type of metal. A lot of things are made out of brass. You might find a lamp or doorknobs, Usually those are made out of brass. They're gonna have a mouthpiece, and that's what you blow into. They're also gonna have tubing, long tubes that wind up together, and on the other end, there's gonna be a bell, and the bell makes the sound louder. And they're gonna have valves or a slide to change the pitch. Brass instruments have valves, and you push those down, and they redirect the air into different tubes, longer ones and shorter ones, and that's how you can change the pitch. But the trombone has a slide. It's kind of special. You slide it out, it gets longer, so it gets lower. And when you slide it back in, it gets shorter, so it gets higher again, all right? So let's take a look at a few brass instruments. The first one I brought in today is actually just a toy, okay? But this is what brass instruments looked like a long time ago. It's pretty simple. It looks like a small French horn. So a long time ago, brass instruments just had a mouthpiece. This is where you blow into it. This tube that winds around like this. And then there's a bell at the other end. So this is how they started. But eventually, someone invented the valves. So let's take a look at the trumpet here. These valves are what changes the pitch, okay? So when you play a brass instrument like the trumpet, you're gonna blow into this mouthpiece which comes out just like this. You blow into this mouthpiece, the air is gonna come in and then go straight out the bell. But when you press down on these valves, it's gonna allow the air to go into an extra tube. For example, if I press down on this valve right here, it's gonna let the air go through this tube before it goes out. If I press down on this valve, it's gonna let the air go through this little tube here. And if I press down on this valve, it opens up this tube. So when you press down on a valve, the air is gonna to have to go through another tube, either this one, this one, or this one before it goes out. That makes the instrument a little bit longer, and so that's how it changes the pitch. Let's take a look at these valves. A valve kind of works like a faucet. You know, when you're at your kitchen sink, you turn on the faucet, it allows the water to come through. Well, when you press down on this valve, see that? it redirects the air 
into another tube. And that's how it works. So, when you play brass instruments, there's one thing that everybody has to do. And you have to make a buzzing sound, okay? Now just watch, I'll demonstrate. You have to buzz with your lips like this. And then you take that little buzz sound and you put it on the mouthpiece, it sounds like this. Sounds kind of silly. But that buzzing vibration, like we saw on the other side of the board, when it travels through all this tubing and out the bell, then it sounds like a trumpet. So it goes from this, as soon as you put it in here, then it sounds like this. And that's the trumpet. And when you press down the valves, that's when you can make it higher and lower. Take a listen. And that's how the trumpet works. You press down the valves in different combinations. It makes it longer or shorter because the air has to travel through different tubes. And then when it comes out the bell, it's going to be a different pitch. So there's the trumpet for you. I'd like to show you some other instruments in the brass family as well. Here's my little music book. I'm bringing this up so you can see this little page right here. So here's the brass family. The smallest one's the trumpet, right up top here. Then we have the French horn, the trombone with the slide, and then the tuba. It's the biggest, so it's the lowest pitch. The trumpet's the smallest, so it's going to be the highest pitched. And there's your brass family. Hope you enjoyed that today, and we'll see you next time.